The new price tag on most basic commodities, an indication of an extra burden Kenyans have to bear following new tax measures implemented by the government. A new tax regime that has caused uproar among consumers as cost of goods rise by 16%. <laughs> Mwanzo ilikuwa inatokanga na 45 na sasa saa hizi sasa inatoka na 55. Sasa maybe mtu mwenye alikuwa anataka kuchukua pembe, sasa siku hizi anachukua hii ya kilo moja ya kubima. The shock effect of the value added taxes since been blamed on traders for hiking prices of some basic commodities that were reportedly not subject to the new tax. Problem is with the do the VAT law. So we should stop the perception of blaming that unscrupulous business people are increasing prices illegally. You must do something to ameliorate the suffering of Kenyans. Milk in my constituency cost 80 shillings. The citizens were cushioned. I remember in this same house, we exempted items like sanitary towels. We exempted maize flour. We exempted maize seeds. An illegality that has drawn President Uhuru Kenyatta's attention, who directed the Treasury to publish regulations on the Value Added Tax Act 2013 to protect consumers from profiteers and unscrupulous traders. Basic commodities like milk, flour, and bread are exempt from VAT. And I want to repeat that again. Basic commodities like milk, flour, and bread are exempt from VAT. In a notice appearing in the dailies on Tuesday, the Kenya Revenue Authority warned that it is illegal to charge VAT on goods and services which are listed as exempt from VAT or zero rated. The notice went on to indicate that items exempted from VAT include all unprocessed foods such as vegetables, maize, beans, milk, eggs and meat. Processed food exempted from tax include maize flour, wheat flour, bread, rice, infant food preparations including milk, medicines and pharmaceutical products, sanitary pads, fertilizers, selected seeds including maize seeds among others. Salim Bilu, Citizen Live at 9.